A train carriage A of mass 500 kilograms is moving horizontally at 6 meters per second. It collides with another train carriage B of mass 700 kilograms that is initially at rest, as shown in the diagram below. The graph shows the variation time V of the two velocities of the two train carriages before, during, and after the collision. Use the graph to deduce that the total momentum of the system is conserved in the collision. So if momentum is conserved, that means that the momentum uh, before is equal to the momentum afterwards. So with the equation P, which is momentum, equals mv, before the collision you have, um, this is of carriage A, you have a mass of 5,000 kilograms and a velocity of 6 meters per second which gives you a momentum of 3,000 newton seconds. Then the momentum after the collision, again using the equation momentum equals mass times velocity plus mass times velocity. This is of the two carriages because now the system encompasses two bodies. So you have momentum is equal to the final mass and the final velocity of the carriage B, which is a mass of 7,000 kilograms, times a final velocity of 5 meters per second, which is evident on the graph right here, 5 meters per second for train carriage B. So again, that's 7,000 times 5 plus the final for carriage A, again it has a mass of 5,000 times the final velocity of carriage A, which is given right here as negative 1 meters per second. So 500 times negative 1. And that gives you a momentum of, um, again, 3 of equally, 3,000 newtons per of newton seconds and as the final is equal to the initial as 3000 newton seconds equals 3000 newton seconds therefore p is conserved the second question uh, use the graph to deduce that the collision is elastic. So in an elastic collision, the kinetic energy is conserved as well as the momentum. So the kinetic energy before the collision, can Ke equals one half mv squared. Uh, this is just of cart uh, carriage A. So you have Ke equals one half 5,000 times 6 squared, and this gives you a kinetic energy of 9,000 joules. And then the kinetic energy after, just like with momentum, is equal to the kinetic energy of either body added. So you have Ke equals one half mv squared plus one half mv squared. So one half of the first carriage you have five thousand times negative one squared plus one half seven thousand. This is of carriage B. The final is five meters per second squared. And this gives you uh, 9,000 joules. So, just like with momentum, as 9,000 joules is equal to 9,000 joules, the kinetic energy is conserved, and therefore the collision is elastic. And the last part, it says to calculate the magnitude of the average force experienced by train carriage B. 
The equation we're going to use to calculate the average force is um, F force equals impulse over time. If you look at the units, uh, you have force in newtons. Uh, impulse is newtons second over second. These are going to cancel out and give newtons. So the impulse is the change in momentum. So you're going to have F is equal to 700 times 5, which is again the change in momentum as the initial momentum of carriage B was 0 over the time. And you can see from the graph that the period of uh, collision is this section right here which you can see is um, has a duration of 2 seconds. So you have 700 times 5, which is the impulse, the change of momentum, over 2, which is going to yield a force of 3,500 over 2, which gives you a force of an average force of 1800 newtons.